good to see you. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Python asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Python claims the city is overrun by a strange cult. The Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. And suspect. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never found a beast myself. My father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining Set ritual for the sky to remove his bow skill and snow skills. With glee warming my heart, Run up I caught a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. For Scotty, here's only those who speak to her. Yeah, Oh, 
off limits. <laughs> the Cripple Gate of London. Might find an official worth his salt here. I beg patience all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The your love. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something up a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four year back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa. <laughs> Dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! God in heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stow's my name, Stow of Lunden. It is good to meet you, Reevestow. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the Governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your Governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigger we go. And what can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo, of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Avo. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. 
Greece is an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Bura, just past the Western Wars. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke's an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no. No, no, no. It took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visiteth and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. It's a serious attack. Were they after you as well? Now that's a fine question, isn't it? You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? It must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, when an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erge, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this bird. Oh dear. What is it? Dirty notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriguous desk. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, oh, man had a wandering ah! house. And I. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Finally. Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average, and one massive.
this. I just... I just can't. Look at us, sitting on our laurels while Eivor does all the work. this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. Must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came the trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech... The arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. It describes too many in London. Elites hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Oh. Well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my Reeves face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over. Town Hall will follow soon. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet in the top London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. The Temple of Mithras.
guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a wizard. The other side must be barred. messages between the leech and the compass healing gutting the leech is a strange one but the compass calls the strikes i have got enough to go on for now erke and stowe must see all this i see more bloodshed in london's future at least Sunin will feast.
I should not be seen in this area. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum, notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good Lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. The arrow is a Dane, who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the Arrow and the Leech. Killing both should drag the Compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech his back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.
Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. The noise yet about the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk, unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor.
Women don't need reason. They need to be told what to do. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers. Now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I will shoot a practice round, just to be sure. Go ahead then. They're all set up. How was that? You've got quite an eagle eye on you. I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Seyer. All right, take your mark. Hook set. Deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. <laughs> well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. <laughs> Ik weet daar waar de weer van te ver is. En ik daar ook nog zo heel dat ik Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders! stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeds to guide us? Some arsed upwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex. Knocked! 
It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! You're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. And glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erkes should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga.
this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. If you are the only target for your people's fear, then they will turn on you. They're scared. If I am to be redeemed, I owe them the leech. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. Must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Stowe has seen the same. It is not only the ducks. How is that Sparrowheart? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgos, and that is enough. Avgos? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and feared the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna. Lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That is a good place to start. Thank you, Gila. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a leap with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these ducks. Do I look like one who could? Aid me, be my eyes. Just follow him, see where this leads.
Can't this clod walk any faster? Careful now. is heavily guarded. Let's see you, old friend.
You got the purse I'm out. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I am with the Order. The Leech bade me give you a message. The Order? Huh? I'd need more testament than your word alone. I have this. If it's silver, I'll accept it as payment. You know this is no Elderman's coin. Right. So... so what's the Order miffed about? I'm doing my duty. I am here about the Leech. The tools you made were unsound. That's not my doing! Sister Frieda Smith is breaking them faster than I can smith. Breaking them on the bodies of the poor and unwell? We warned her against such evil. Now that's not a fair read on her work. She never kills without reason. That is for us to decide. Where is she now? Where she always is. The old forum in the shade of the giant's wall. Thank you, brother. And keep this to yourself. This is where the leech dissects her prey.
You're not going to die, my dear. <laughs> we'll patch you. <laughs> Don't let the fence <laughs> throw you. One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That is enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, Frieda Swift. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? Is done. Ah, the leech is bled out. And did you catch a name? A nun, name of Frida's with. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint, a healer, and a 
Gods! <laughs> that brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida with. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything, from boils to broken bones. It is worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book, this is your good sister's battlefield, her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life, but their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca.